This is one of my all-time favorite uh, resurrection scenes. Aldous Huxley, in an essay, said that this was the greatest picture in the world. And there was an artillery officer who had read this essay. It was buried in the back of his mind. And he was asked when, during the course of World War II, he was stationed outside of San Sepulcro, the Holy Sepulchre, literally, uh, which was Piero della Francesca's hometown. The, the word was out that the Germans were taking the town, and he was told to bombard the town. And it's then that he remembered San Sepulcro, San Sepulcro. That's where that famous painting is. So he disobeyed orders, and he didn't bombard the town. As it turns out, uh, the Germans decided to retreat at that point. So it was spared, but he today, I think there's even a street named after Tony Clark in San Sepulcro, Holy Sepulchre. It happens to uh, be very dear to me for a very personal reason. Uh, when Jamie and I were living in London, I was in a study group, a, a Bible study group, with a woman by the name of Miranda. And she was very ill, uh, prematurely so, uh, but it was clear she was going to die. She keep, kept coming to the study group, but periodically had to be hospitalized, a very rare disease that they could not treat. And in her last days, she was in the hospital all the time, and the church organized prayer vigils. She didn't want to be alone all the time, and so different ones of us signed up for different times. And... I came in the first time, and I didn't know her that well, and she just said, Darcy, pray. So I prayed. And then we got to talking, and she said, if only I could just one more time see that picture. And I said, Miranda, what picture? She said, do you know that one where Christ is coming out of the tomb with a flag, and his knee is just on top of the tomb, and he's conquering death? And I said, I think I know the one you mean. Is it the Piero della Francesca? She said, yes. And so the next time I was able to bring in an art book with this picture and she just held it almost as if it were the Bible. And I know from her family that it was by her side when she died. So it means a great deal to me and you can see why uh, she felt that she wanted to have her Lord pictured that way right beside her as she died because it is the most powerful picture of Jesus conquering death. It's said also that uh, this represents Piero himself, an auto portrait, uh, because the flag comes right down, and, and he was said to have said that this indicates that he had a divine inspiration for this painting, which Jamie and I visited and uh, sought it out in a rather remote town in Tuscany, and, and the guard in uh, the Museo Civico, the civic museum that used to be just the town hall that Piero painted this for, he said that indeed that was Piero's intention, was to show that Jesus himself had kind of given him this idea, and that was his way of indicating it. Question. I thought 